Good morning and welcome to the Northern Territory in the Black Indigenous Business Resilience Program. Um, today is about putting a spotlight on all of the deadly Northern Territory Indigenous businesses. And we're really excited to have our special guest on today to yarn about his business. But first, let me start by acknowledging the traditional owners and custodians on the land upon which we are both meeting and talking today. I am on Gimoy Wallaburra Yadinji country in Cairns, far north Queensland, but I acknowledge all First Nations people, our elders, past, present and emerging, and extend my respect to you, your family and whoever's listening in here today. But as I said, we've got a really deadly special guest today, uh, Rhys Langley. Rhys is the sole director for Territory Plastering and Interiors. Welcome, Rhys. Welcome. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. We love our Friday sessions because we love really showcasing our deadly Indigenous businesses in the Territory. So first, let's start. Tell us a little bit about you and how you got started. Uh, well, we originally got started back in 2018 um, here in Catherine, obviously. Um, I was working for another company at the time, uh, plenty of local builders sort of said, yeah, why don't you do your own thing? You know, pretty clever and that. So took the plunge back then and full steam ahead. Full steam ahead, that's excellent. So Catherine, you know, tell us about Catherine for people who are listening in that don't know where Catherine is. Uh, well, Catherine's probably 300 k's, what is it, southeast of Darwin. Yep. No, it's not really that far away. Yeah. yeah. Sort of in amongst a lot of communities down here. Yeah, but a little bit more remote than a big city like Darwin. Yeah, very yeah. much. Yeah. So tell us about, the, you know, you're talking to someone who um, walks into somewhere that's already built. I've done a little bit of renovations in my time. Not that I'm really great at it either. <laughs> but tell us about what you do, like your plastering and interiors. Give us a bit of a rundown. Um, so our main thing is uh, plasterboard linings, internal framings, partitions. Um, but we do a lot of maintenance as well, sort of general painting, patching, all that sort of stuff. Okay. Yeah, just sort of a uh, wide range of things, but generally the uh, walls and ceilings, petitions is what we aim for. Yeah. And do you get a lot of work flowing in? Yeah, we seem to be keeping very busy. Yeah. So there's, I think there's three trades and an apprentice at the moment. Fantastic. Um, yeah, we're all full time and so it's going really good. Oh, that's deadly. It's so deadly to hear, you know, the sort of work. And you're in Catherine, but you've done some work outside of Catherine. Tell us about that. Yeah, we've done a fair bit of work in communities uh, from Beswick, Etanooka, Timber Creek even so. Yeah. Uh, also cattle stations, done a fair bit on them, down the Barkley region, sort of all around. Well, that's really deadly. So yeah, I want to yeah. take, sorry, oh sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah, we do a lot of travelling as well for yeah. work, which is great. Yep. And so does it matter of the size of the job that you do? Do you do small jobs, big jobs? Yeah, from small to large, any size we, we try to have a go at, yep. Yeah. Now, I have had a look at your website and I really want to bring that up because you've got some really deadly photos on your website. I think people would be really good for people to have a look at that. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I'll get you to give us a talk so you can see that. Yep. On your, yep, yep. So this is a Territory Plastering Interiors. If you're just listening into this, we're talking to Rhys Langley. Rhys is the sole director of Territory Plastering and Interiors based in Catherine, but it works all over the Northern Territory. So we're just going to have a bit of a look at some of the work that you've got on your website, Rhys, if that's okay. Yeah, if no you, could you talk us through what, this, what your photos are showing here? Um, well, that first one on the top there, that's an office fit out we did in uh, Catherine Terrace back here. I think it might have been last year, that one. Okay. Um, that one's a, that one there's a house just out of town for a fellow I know. Yeah. Uh, big two story home, which is really good. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that sounds like a big job. Yeah. It was not bad. Mm. Uh, that's just a photo of some ornamental cornice that we put up in a really old, I think it was a heritage listed place here in Catherine. Okay, yeah. so a lot of detail would have to go into that type of work if you're doing heritage listed buildings. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's just sort of same again, just wall framings. Yep, fantastic. Yep. 
And are they all in different locations? So they look, they look like they're different size jobs? Yeah, some of them are only in sort of smaller, a couple of bedrooms and like the office one, I think that's nine offices in there. Okay. Including the like suspended ceilings that we did. Yep, fantastic. On this some outdoor work here as well? Yeah, it's carport ceiling we did for client back yep. in 2018. Fantastic. Yeah. This is what's really good about business and like your website because, you know, when someone's trying to gauge what your business is about, if it's someone like me who's quite a doogie about things like this, it's like having some really great um, examples on your website um, are really good because people can actually see the work that you're doing. Yep. as well so but i love your little catchphrase here know your trade and do it well yeah yeah, yeah someone told me that once and there we ran with it yeah no that, that's really good because the thing is as well you know um not everyone you know could, might have the right and relevant experience but also to in business it's really good to have catchphrases like that you know, I know for us, with just maximising opportunities in the global market, you know, and that's how people will remember your business as yeah. well. So, yeah. Tell that's us how, well, tell us, you know, because COVID-19 hit us all really bad. Yep. You know, it was completely unexpected and, you know, it's a precedent because nothing like this has ever happened before. How did you go? Did you have to change much of what you were doing or...? Oh, not really. We had a bit of a slow start to the year before it all started. Um, and then sort of as it, as it come on, we had plenty of jobs in the pipeline from before. So we're sort of flying through with, with them now. Um, I think the NT government put out some stimulus grants for homeowners as well, which has been fantastic. Oh, very good. Which has kept a lot of businesses going really strong for this time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's been really good for everyone. Oh, that's fantastic. It's really good. Yeah, we found that across Australia, you know, with the, with the government stimulus packages, you know, because that kept us in business, I guess. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, and you found a lot of people, like a lot of people in the public took that up. Yeah, my, most people did. Yeah. And were you able to see, did you have to seek support from the government yourselves as a business? Because I know that the NC government released a lot of business support programs. How did um, you... Was no, we, we didn't get any um, support directly, only just for the stimulus works that we received. Yeah, so I guess it's too prone, you know, some people were able to access that government support, but so, you know, like yourselves, you you know, everything was kept going and that's why they call it a stimulus. Yeah, you know, that's trying right. to stimulate the economy by, you know, work. So that's yeah. fantastic. Now that's really deadly. And it's good to hear that your business fared through that time. Yep. You know, because... Because, you know, some of our mob are still really struggling out there in business and, you know, and that's why we're trying to have do as much as we can to give support and give information and all of those sort of things. But it's also good for us to hear what other mob are doing, you know, and how we can support each other. And some people really get a lot from hearing other stories. So it's really deadly to hear what you guys are doing as well. Um, is there anything else you want to share about your business before we, we close up here? Oh, uh, pretty well got it all covered there. Um, yeah. yeah, you're looking for any specialists in interior lines or anything like that in the Catherine region? Yeah. Sing out and give us a bell and we're keen to work with some bigger building companies and whatnot. Yeah, fantastic. So you can go online, um, TPI Territory Plasting and Interiors, as you can see on the screen. Also, it says you can put a actually send a contact email through the website, yep. which you can also call as well. Oh, I better not make the call from my computer because that'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely give us a call. Yeah, fantastic. All right, well, thank you so much, Reese, for joining us today. You're doing a really deadly job and it's really deadly to hear from you and what you're doing. Um, and we, we just encourage anyone out there that's really interested in, in um, you know, even if you don't know what it is you're interested in around, you know, plastering and interiors, give Reese a call, give the business a call. You know, because like we tell people, you don't know, you only know what you only know. But also if you're out there and you're wanting to engage a really deadly Indigenous business, reach out as well because one thing about you know when we're a small business we're looking to partner you know and looking to build yeah. our business so really reach 
out as well um, to Reese and the team. But thank you again for joining us, Rachel. Reese, it was really deadly to talk to you. Uh, apologies for the tech issues in the start. We love technology when it works. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, fantastic. So if you're listening in today, comment deadly down below on Facebook and one of our team will be in direct contact with you. If you're watching this via YouTube, also click on the link before uh, below. If you are wanting to make um, if you are wanting to make contact with Reese um, and his team, you can either make direct contact through his website, www.territoryplastering.com.au. Um, but you can also send us a message as well, and we can put you in contact with the company. But let us finish where we started by acknowledging all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, ancestors, elders, and all of our mob out there in community. We just say hello and we say to you all, have a fantastic weekend and thank you for joining us. Thank Thanks, you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.